Hello, my dear Capricorns, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading starting the week of July the 13th up until July the 21st. Also, please do remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the reading. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love, blessings, and abundance for your love and support. And for personal readings, I now have openings. So please do check the description box below. With Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right. Right into your reading. Hello, hello, my dearest Capricorns. How have you guys been? All right. I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my dearest Capricorns. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any messages that want to come through for my dearest Capricorns this week. Now, always remember that energies are fluid, okay? So take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of your person or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates, okay? And also this can be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, make sure to check those out as well. And also do remember that energies can be reversed. Now, my dear Capricorns, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, wow, look at this, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So someone has a chip on their shoulder, okay? It's either you or them exchanging harsh words, okay? I do sense here that there was some kind of awakening or there will be a rude awakening this week, okay? I am sensing that. I'm sensing this um, energy of burnout. Burnout, like you've been doing too much, like trying too much, thinking too much, something too much. You're doing way too much, you're burning out, and it's time for you to kind of slow down, okay? I do sense a lot of restless energy coming from you, okay? So I do sense here that there is a lot of love in this connection. I do sense that it is mutual, okay? Now I am sensing that your person wants to continue communication with you, but you are sort of like afraid. I am sensing that you are afraid that this is going to be toxic, okay? I do sense that you feel like this is not just fears. You kind of feel like this is real, like you need to be careful in how much you invest into the situation because, you know, you feel like you are connecting at a level where you did not think that you were going to connect um, and I feel like there's there's this energy of toxicity coming through, but I am sensing that it might be you might be right on um, on the fact that there is some kind of toxicity in this. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see exactly what it is that's coming through. Yeah, so I do sense that your person, my dear, your person has been through a lot. Okay, I feel like there is a lot that they want to tell you, but they've been kind of holding back. I, I'm also sensing that your person is resistant to some kind of change. For some of you that have already cut off this communication or this connection, I feel like your person cannot let go. Okay, but I also sense that you also kind of feel like even though you have moved on to greener pastures, I do sense that there is still love here. I do sense that you will be um, receiving some kind of an apology, a gesture of love, maybe communication, maybe a text message, a phone call, okay? But I do sense that you're not ready for a new beginning with this person, even though, guess what? There's a lot of love in this connection. I do sense that there is mutual uh, love here in this connection, but I feel like you're not ready to to kind of reciprocate this same kind of love because I do sense here that you do not want to be impulsive or rash in your decisions. I do sense that for you, my dear, you don't want to be foolish in your decisions because I feel like something happened between you and this person or at least there's some kind of dragging energy. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on the fact that somebody here, it's sort of like um, this process has been taking way too long. I feel like you're dealing with some kind of a charmer, okay, is what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on the energy of a charmer that's coming through, okay? It's sort of like a person who's still kind of exploring their options, okay? And even though, yes, they kind of um, offer you gestures of love, maybe text messages uh, here and there. I do sense that there is some kind of inconsistency and this is creating some kind of chip on your shoulders. Kind of like um, you've already dealt with too much. This is a person who has basically dealt with way too much, whether it's you or them, okay? And you kind of know exactly 
um, the red flags that you're dealing with. When a red flag shows up, you kind of know, okay, you know what, let me take a step back, okay? So I do sense that you do wanna take a few steps back because this person is not showing signs of consistency, even though I do sense that they do wanna communicate something to you. I do also sense that there's some kind of denial on their part, not on your part, some kind of denial on their part where, you know, I feel like you, um, try to move on okay from this connection but i do sense that this person kind of keeps coming back okay even though you kind of have already told yourself you know what this is not good for me i am sensing that you still are kind of wearing some kind of a false mask in the sense where you're trying to be nice to this person but you're not wanting to be rude but i feel like internally you kind of feel like okay you know what I have to figure this out, whether this is going to move forward or not, but you don't want it to move forward right now. That's the kind of inconsistency on your part that I am picking up on now. I'm gonna go ahead and start jumping into your clarifiers, okay? But I do sense that you have been very restless, okay? There's a lot of restless energy coming from your part. I do sense that you've been putting in a lot of work. I feel like you've had a lot going on in your life. I feel like you've been taking care of, you know, friends, family, a lot of just things. Yeah, and I feel like you're not ready to move forward with this person, um, even though I feel like they're gonna come in with some kind of gesture of love, some kind of communication, or for others of you, some kind of apology, okay? I am, so, wow, look at this tower moment in the reverse yeah so this person does not want this to be over they do not want this to be over and i feel like um there's some kind of resistance here okay i feel like maybe you helped this person out in the past or some kind of communication from your part is making this person feel like you're still um connected to them i'm not sure if you still are for some of you i feel like you're kind of um dealing with a person who has um kind of like very inconsistent adhd add um energy very very like uh, all over the place just you know they kind of text you one day and then the next day they kind of go silent and then then you know they kind of like you know um go mia and then they kind of communicate again and it's just a very inconsistent energy that is kind of driving you nuts at this point i feel like uh, this person has been a catalyst, some kind of catalyst for something. But what is this here? Yeah, so I do sense that this person has been a catalyst for you to enlighten yourself towards what exactly you are doing. Um, it's sort of like you keep doing the same thing in connections and you ask yourself, why does this keep happening? Why does this keep happening over and over again? Well, you know, I feel like it's because of your fears. Yeah, you're kind of like just so stressed out and you're kind of very fearful to jump in, but I do sense that you're gonna have to communicate or make some kind of a move. I do sense that you are dealing with, again, a very inconsistent um, player energy for some of you. For others of you, it's just a very free-spirited person that you're dealing with, and you're not used to this uh, free-spirited type of energy, but guess what? You are attracted to it, okay? And you do kind of want to um, find some kind of um, compromise. I feel like you've been compromising in a very indirect kind of way. It's sort of like you kind of feel like you want to let go, but you feel stuck. Yeah, you feel stuck in this connection. You feel stuck in the situation because you feel like you do like this person, but then it's like another part of you doesn't like the way they are. Does that make sense? It's sort of like a lot of, um, a lot of critical, you're kind of like being very critical of them, but I feel like you have a reason to be because they're very inconsistent, okay? Now, I do want to get some clarity as to what exactly this Ace of Cups is here. What is this Ace of Cups here representing? Yeah, so, you know, your person is definitely going to make a move, okay? If your person has not been communicating very, very clearly, it has to do with them trying to be very controlling. They have a very controlling nature. They only feel like they want to communicate with you whenever they feel like you're kind of going away, okay? So whenever they feel like you're starting to drift away, that's when they communicate. That's when they kind of jump back in because they want to have control over your energy. Now, I am also sensing that you do see that this is very, um, it's very unfair to you. It's very unfair to you because you do want a future for yourself. You know, you think about the long-term potential, but this person only thinks about what's going to work for them right now. Okay. But I do sense that they will be making a sacrifice towards you because they're going to feel your energy pulling back. Okay. So when they feel your energy pulling back, I feel like that's when they are going to come in with some kind of gesture of love or communication. And for others of you, like I said, some kind of an apology. Okay. Because I do sense that this person does like you, but they're kind of like a little bit immature. They don't know how to communicate emotions is what I'm getting. They don't know how to communicate emotions because they've dealt with a lot in the past and they kind of need to gain the courage in order to tell you exactly what they mean. They haven't been clear with you and that really is driving you crazy, okay? Now, I'm also sensing here that this is what is become has become so 
kind of like toxic in this connection the fact that this person is not communicating clearly to you and you're kind of like you know what to hell with this i just want to go away i just want to move away from this person but that's when this person comes back in with some kind of communication oh my god i mean it would drive me crazy too i'm feeling your energy and it would drive me crazy too so um i'm gonna go ahead and get some clarifiers for you from my guides and my angels to see what they have for you let's see let me grab these over here Let's see, what do my guides and angels have for my dear Capricorns? What do we have for my dear Capricorns this week for advice? Wow, relationship harmony. Look at this, Angel Regal. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. I mean, you guys, I cannot make this up. I literally just said this. Your person is going to come in with some kind of communication because they are trying to get the courage and the strength to communicate clearly what exactly they feel for you, okay? So here we have, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So for a lot of you guys, do expect communication do expect some kind of offer of love, okay? And I do sense that for others of you, you're going to have to figure out what you want to tell this person because I feel like the energy is going to come through very, very strongly. You know what to do, okay? Remember, you know what to do, Angel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. And for others of you, you guys are tapping into your intuition very, very strongly. Angel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. I'm going to go ahead and get some um, guidance angels for you guys, okay, this week. Let's see some kind of guidance angels messages, some kind of guidance messages for you guys. Let's see what we have here. Daydream, okay, so that's manifestation. You guys have to dream. Uh, this person is daydreaming about you a lot, and they're trying to manifest you into their reality. But it's sort of like they're kind of like uh, figuring out that they have to kind of like be more forthcoming with you is what I'm uh, picking up on. So this person definitely has been thinking and daydreaming about connecting with you, okay? But they're not communicating clearly because I feel like there's some kind of immaturity going on within this. It's like emotional immaturity. It's like emotional... Um, they're not emotionally mature, okay? And I do sense that for some of you, you're ready for something new, okay? For others of you, you're just ready for something new and change in direction is coming in. So I do sense that for others of you, you know, like this person will be coming in wanting some kind of change. So do expect that. And, you know, right now, all you have to do is reward yourself focus on yourself. I feel like you're kind of um, all over the place. Like your energy has been very scattered because you know, you're helping too many people. You're help. you're just, you're doing way too much for too many people. And it's time for you to reward yourself, my dear Capricorn. But I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps. To support me in my channel and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel it really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform um, without further ado thank you so so much for watching i love you guys so so much and i'll see you next time Bye bye <laughs>